Hey, welcome back to my channel, Angry Admin. I am Piotr Tarnawski, aka Angry Admin from AngrySystems.com. And today I show you how to deal with unsecure SI certificate. I wrote article about this a few weeks back, and now I will show you how to practically go about it. If you follow my blog, um, you notice that a few weeks back there was an article about resolving SHA-1 certificate error during vCenter server upgrade. And I wrote exactly what to do. Now let's have a look on the screen and I will show you what needs to be done. Okay, so first of all, we need to SSH to our vCenter server. Then we have to find that certificate by issuing this command. Oh, by the way, all the commands are in the article, which I will link in the video description. So don't worry, you don't need to stop and uh, write it down. You can just watch and then follow along article. Okay, so once I issue that, um, that command, I have the list of the certificate and I need to find one which interests me. And this is the DigiSign certificate. So it's that one. So what I need to note is alias. I just copy that. You need to take a note of alias and then you need to take off the subject key identifier. So, which is that one. And we will be using those values later on. Now, we are going to retrieve and manage trust certificates. Okay, so we need to go out from it and we need to issue this command now. And now we need to authenticate. Okay, and we need to find our offender, which is this one. It's basically the same number uh, as key identifier, but just to make sure I put, that, put a note of it as well. Okay, let me just clear the screen first. Okay. And I'm grab the command. Now, as you can see, this is the identifier we found uh, earlier. And of course, we need to authenticate that command. And as you can see, certificate retrieved successfully, which is good. And now what we need to do with that certificate is unpublish and delete it. So that will be very straightforward. First command is this one. And again, we need a password to authenticate that command. Okay. Uh, let's try again. Okay. And of course, guys, <laughs> as you can see, this is a live demo. What I did wrong, I copied the command wrongly. So if we want to see, there is a CE we are lacking of R. Okay, so now again we need to put a password. Ah, and now we have a certificate and published successfully. Okay, now once we have this, all we need to do now is to remove it. And to remove that certificate, we'll be using alias. So if you remember on the very first screen, I asked you to note the alias. Now we need to use the alias. Okay. Of course, I wish to continue. And we have information that the action was successful. Now just refresh a system. And that's it. 
I hope that this was informative and you learned something new. If so, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.